Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a lot of empties for you. I didn't do an empties for May or June. So these are empties that I've accumulated uh, all through May, all through June, and then partially through July. And then I'll probably do another empties video at the start of September for the remainder of July and August. And then hopefully I'll be back on track. So I have quite a few empties accumulated since it was a longer period of time. Um, I added it up and I have about $270 worth of product here, which makes me feel really good as always. Um, and then I'll just go through everything and tell you like what I thought. I'm going to grab my bucket here because <laughs> I'm uh, the recycling goes out tonight. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to put right into the recycling. So I'll just dump it in my bucket and then I will be all set to just dump it outside. Okay, so we'll just get started. The first thing I have is this MAC. Prep and Prime Fix Plus um, in a mini size. It is the rose scented. There is a tiny bit left in the bottom of it, but I couldn't get it to spray out evenly. It was like blotchy and a big blab on my face. Um, so I had a set of these that I had purchased. They had three in it, rose, coconut, and lavender. I don't really care for the rose very much, um, but I wanted to finish it up. I still have about three quarters, no, a quarter of a bottle of the coconut left to go and um, and then the lavender, but I really dislike the lavender one. I don't know what it is. I like lavender normally, but I don't know if I'm going to finish that one or not. I'm definitely going to finish the coconut, but this is the rose one and I would not repurchase that because I have more. Plus I... <laughs> I just got the Watermelon Scented Fix Plus and the Pina Colada Fix Plus and I have a full size Fix Plus of the Cherry Blossom because I'm a weirdo, right? Okay, the next thing I have here is um, a package of the Shiseido Facial Cotton. Um, I like this for using uh, with my toner. Um, or any products that I apply to my face. I don't use it for my nail polish or anything like that just because it's kind of pricey. Um, you can get it at Sephora. Um, I'm not sure if Ulta has it or not. I've always just bought it during the VIB sale at Sephora. I get like two packs of it and that lasts me quite a while. So um, it's super soft though. And you can kind of peel it apart according to what you need as far as the thickness goes. Um, so I really like this. I tried using um, some Japanese Muji, I think Muji cotton because people said it was the same. I liked the Shiseido better, so it's a repurchase for me. The, I, I like it. It's a luxury item. I know $12 for cotton. Sorry. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but I like it. So, um, okay, next I have uh, some Avon Skin So Soft Comforting Shea Creamy Body Wash. I really like this. This has a really nice formula and it's super mild. Um, it, it lathers up nicely, but it does not strip your skin and it's really, really creamy. So I will look uh, the in the description section below. I'll put a link to my e-store and any of my products that are Avon and still available. I will put the item number so that you'll know. I'll also put all the makeup I'm wearing in, in there too, just because people sometimes ask me. Um, and some of it's Avon and some of it's not, but I'll list everything in the description section below. So this shower gel, body wash, whatever, creamy body wash, it was really, really nice. I liked it a lot. Um, it was thin. It kind of had a thinner texture, but it was still really creamy, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, next I have my, Anu, my Avon Anew Power Serum. I really like this serum a lot. Um, I will repurchase it. This was my third bottle of it, I think. And right now I'm using um, another serum from Avon called their Dual Elixir. I'm not as crazy about that as this. I really, really like this a lot. So this is definitely going to be a repurchase for me. I'm going to the Avon National Convention in uh, about two weeks. And I know they'll be giving us some product, and um, there is a brand new serum out in the Hydrofusion line, and I have a feeling we'll probably get a bottle of that. So I don't know if I'll repurchase this yet. I might wait to try the new one and see what I think, but I really, really like this serum a lot. It's a very nice product. 
I'll definitely put the product number below. Um, also from Avon, I have a True Color Concealer in the shade Almond. Um, I used this till I was like scraping the edges of it. I really love this concealer. I have one I'm currently using and they have discontinued this, so can't use that anymore. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to clump all the Avon together because I got a lot of non-Avon stuff too. This is the uh, Avon A New Vital Gel Cleanser. They discontinued this a long time ago and I really, really love it. So I bought like 20 bottles. <laughs> I mean, that's not an exaggeration. I think I ordered 15 uh, off the website when they were going out, uh, you know, discontinuing it. And then there was a local rep that had a bunch in her stash that she didn't want. And so she sold them to me for like $2 a piece, I think. So I bought five or six from her. So I know I had around 20 of them. I still have a few more to go. I don't know what I'm going to replace it with when it's gone, but, um, okay. Another Avon product. This is the, uh, mm, candy radiant raspberry body spray. I really liked this. I, uh, received the whole set. They had, um, uh, candy, there's three, I think, in the set of candy body sprays, or maybe there was four, and they had an incentive. This was quite a while ago, maybe two years or longer. Uh, I keep feeling like my lipstick is clumping. I don't know. I'm going to blot. Hold on one second, because it's really bothering me. I don't like my lipstick to be clumpy. You know how sometimes it gathers up if you have too much in the corner? Okay, better. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyways, I achieved an incentive and they gave me uh, all like three, I think three or four sprays and I didn't think I would like them, but surprisingly I did. I really enjoyed them. So this was the raspberry one. These are discontinued though. You can't use them and or buy them anymore unless you look on eBay or Amazon, you might be able to find them. Okay. I think this is, no, I got one more Avon product besides this. This is the um, Beyond Color Lip Conditioner. <laughs> Excuse me. I wear this. Uh, you can see the tube is empty. I wear this underneath all my lipstick all the time. Doesn't matter whether I'm wearing Avon lipstick or high-end lipstick or whatever. Um, I always wear this underneath. It's a really nice lip conditioner. It gives you just a, bun a like a hint of moisture, but it doesn't make it so you're like you can put a matte lipstick on over this, and the matte lipstick will still look matte. It won't look slick or anything. I really like this. I recommend this product a lot to everybody. And then I think the last Avon product I have is this uh, Advanced Techniques um, Strong Strands Shampoo. I had the conditioner. My friend Nancy, hi Nancy if you're watching, she's a Canadian Avon rep, or she was an Avon rep, I'm not sure if she still is. But um, they discontinued this in the U.S., but Canada still had it. So at Christmas time, she sent me the shampoo, the conditioner, and the leave-in spray treatment. So I've already used the conditioner. Now I don't have any more of the shampoo, but I still have the leave-in treatment. So um, I really liked this. I wish they would bring it back. It had like a really tingly feeling on your scalp, and uh, you, you felt really clean. I really, really enjoyed that a lot. Alas, it's gone. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I have a couple of things from Bath & Body Works here trying to work through my stash of shower gels and body lotions or body creams. I like the uh, Ultra Shade body creams better than the lotions. So I have two of the body creams, uh, Winterberry Wonder and the Winter Candy Apple. Look how pretty that packaging was with like the glitter on it. I don't know. That was really pretty. And then the Winter Candy Apple. Um, I have, I think, another one of these. I think uh, this is one of my favorite scents. Every Christmas time when it comes out, I always get it. And I liked this one too. Um, it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. And then I have a shower gel from Bath and Body Works that is in the A Thousand Wishes. I really like this. It's got a really nice scent. I enjoy it quite a bit. And I get it, like right now I have a coupon. Uh, you guys probably got one too from Bath and Body Works for a free item with no purchase necessary. I'm going to take it over there and get the mini size of this so that I can take it with me when I go to Rep Fest because I love this stuff. It's, it's a really good scent. I like it a lot. It's not too sweet. It's not tart. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's nice. I don't know what it says the notes are. Sparkling Celebration. A pink pearl. Checo? 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 Sparkling Quince. Uh, crystal Peony. Gilded Amber and Amaretto Cream. I really like this one a lot. And it's in their permanent line. Okay. Uh, here I have my 
makeup remover wipes that I always get from TJ Maxx in some sh way, shape, or form. They're always a different formula, uh, but it's always by the same company, which is Beauty Concepts, I think. Uh, and they're always 60 wipes for $3.99. Now this particular one, which is the wa natural watermelon, it's a slice of summer natural watermelon. If you guys see these, I would pick them up. I really enjoy these. They have a very nice scent to them. Um, it's a really good... Uh, fruity scent. I don't necessarily know if it was like a watermelon scent, but it was a very fruity good scent and they were very moist. Um, more moist than some of the others I've got in the past and they're always good. I always enjoy them, but these are, this one in particular was very moist and I've said this before, but in case you're new, I use these more as a disposable washcloth than just to remove makeup because um, I use an oil cleanser first and with my hands, I don't, I have a hard time with the washcloths because they're hard for me to wring out. So I just use this every night as a disposable, disposable washcloth with my uh, two cleansers that I clean my face with and I'll use them like in videos when I'm removing makeup swatches or anything else also when I color my hair when my mother-in-law colors her hair um, we use them as a cleanup around our hairline and it does a really nice job with that too so those are really good uh, next I have a oil cleanser this is from Papa Recipe and it is the Bambi Honey Moist Cleansing Oil. I ordered this from Holt Look. I don't know if you can be able to see the... There we go. I ordered this from Holt Look. And I also got two... I also got the Honey Moist Foaming Cleanser. Which I used that a long time ago. Now, um... I love Papa Recipe masks, like their sheet masks. I absolutely love them. I also really, really enjoy their eggplant um, peeling pads. Those are really good, too. This was really nice. I didn't care so much for the honey, the Bombay Honey Cleansing Foam. That one I wasn't crazy about. But this was really nice. And I'm not kidding you guys. This bottle lasted me for months and months and months. I'm not kidding you. I would say this probably lasted me six months. I don't. It was nuts. I don't know. <laughs> it, it just lasted a really long time. All you needed was one pump. And it totally removed all my eye makeup, all my sunscreen, everything. A very thick oil. Um, just really, really nice. And I would purchase this again. I I have a, a balm right now that I'm using from a Korean brand called Hamish or Hamish. Um, so I don't need it right now. But this is a really nice cleansing oil. And I think it was around $15, which is, or maybe $20, which isn't much more or right around the same price as like the Sephora cleansing oil or something. I really, really like this. So I would definitely purchase this again. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, I have a mini Urban Decay uh, Primer potion eyeshadow primer potion this was probably just a little freebie that i got included in with um an order from sephora or nordstrom or something gift with purchase so i like this stuff but i don't ever buy it in the full size because a lot of times you get it as a gift with purchase when you're purchasing something free like at nordstrom or macy's macy's especially a lot of times will give out these for free so i i i never buy those um Another Bath and Body Works product. This is the Fresh Sea Salt, Fresh Sea Salt Mango, um, Tahitian Mano, Manoy, Manoy, Manoy oil. I like this a lot. I got it uh, probably during the semi-annual sale for a dollar or two, maybe two dollars, something like that. Um, it has a really nice scent. I love the scent of it. I would purchase this again in a full size along with like the shower gel and the body spray and all that stuff if I ever come across it and I'm in need. This is a really nice little scented product. I liked it a lot. Um, I have another hand cream, well, a hand cream here. This is from the uh, Tony Moly, which is a Korean brand. Uh, mostly we recognize that with sheet masks. And this is the I'm Real, I'm Rose hand cream. Um, I got the, this in a set that came uh, at Christmas time with two rose sheet masks and two of the hand creams for like $9. And these little suckers are $6 on their own, I think, 6 or $9. So that was a really good deal. I loved the honey one so much that I bought extra. So I think I had three or four more tubes of the honey. 
I didn't care for this one as much. The formula is good on these hand creams. I think this formula is my favorite hand cream of all, but I'm not crazy about the rose scent. I try to like rose because everybody likes it and it's so popular now, but I just, I'm not into the rose. So I actually pulled this one, my other one out because I had two. I pulled my other one out um, and I'm going to give it to a friend who really enjoys rose scented products. All right, this is a full size, and I only brought out one of these. I actually have, I think, four or five of these in different colors. This is from BH Cosmetics, and it's one of their liquid linen um, liquid lipsticks. I got them at Kohl's. They had a set uh, with a little makeup bag on clearance for like $9.99. So you were getting the makeup bag and like five liquid lipsticks. I use BH Cosmetics sometimes, mostly just their eyeshadows. I have a few palettes from them that I really like, especially their Zodiac palette. Beautiful eyeshadows. Absolutely beautiful. This product, and I tried it with all of them, so they're all getting pitched. I just don't like it. Um... It, it it transfers, it doesn't dry down well, it goes outside my lip line. I, I'm not crazy about these, so I just pitched them, but I kept the makeup bag because it was really cute. But you know what? It was worth a shot. That inexpensive for so many lipsticks. And I had seen another beauty YouTuber, I think, show them and how beautiful they were, and she really liked them. But it's all just a personal preference. I did not care for them that much. Okay, I have a, another perfume. This is the Escada Fiesta Carico, Carica, Carico, I don't know. Look how pretty the bottle is, you guys. Isn't that a pretty bottle? Oh, it's so pretty. So I've mentioned in other videos before that it's kind of like a tradition. Every summer, uh, Escada comes out with a limited edition spring and summer uh, fragrance. And Keith always gets it for me for my birthday. But the thing is, is that I wasn't using them up like fast up so I had like quite a few of these um summer fragrances from Escada like backing up so this year they had one from it was Miami something Miami Blossom I think is what it was called and it smelled really good but I said no I'm not gonna get it because I had this I wanted to finish plus I have two this is the one ounce bottle or 1.7 I think it's one I have two of the full size ones that are like 3.3 ounce that I need to work through after, you know, since I finished this one and I've started on one of them. I think it's called Aqua del Sol and it's 3.4 ounces or 3.3 ounces and I'm almost halfway through that one now. But um, I just, so I passed on this year's um, because I can always get it because you can always find them, you know, on, on sale like Perfume Outlet and places like that. But um yeah, so this one, it, this one was really nice. It was a really pretty scent and everything. The thing about these is they don't last very long. The, the scent is not very long lasting. So you can reapply throughout the day. So they go pretty quickly, which is a good thing if you're trying to use a product. But if you buy something and you invest, because these aren't cheap. I think this one was like 45, 45 or $55 for the one ounce. Um, kind of it's like, yeah, I'm paying a lot for a fragrance. I want it to last. So it's kind of, you know, a double-edged sword there. But I did finish that one. And then I have three mini products. Um, I have a Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. Uh, I think I probably got this free from an order at Macy's. They they do that gift with purchase a lot with the Clinique does the gift with purchase. And I think it came in one of those. I like this scrub. It's nice. I had it in my stash. And after um, Avon discontinued their, uh, what was that, the new daily cleansing scrub or whatever. I loved that so much, but it's discontinued. So I ran out of that and then I pulled this out and I used this up and this is nice, but I don't think I would actively like go out and buy the full size. Uh, if it comes in with a gift with purchase, I'll absolutely use it, but I'm not, I mean, you can get drugstore scrubs that are pretty decent. So yeah, I'll pass on that. Um, here I have an Ola Henriksen Sheer Transformation, uh, facial. I can't read it. Anyways, it's a little, it's just a little moisturizer. Um, just a little baby mini size of the Ola Henriksen Sheer Transformation. This is a nice moisturizer. Um, it's very light though. So if you have dry skin, this probably wouldn't be enough for you. In the summertime, I like it as a, a layering moisturizer. It's fine in my last step of my routine because it's light in the hot, hot weather. But in the wintertime, even with my other steps, this is not enough hydration for me. But I do enjoy Ola Henriksen and I enjoy all those products. Um, 
So this came in a mini kit. I've purchased several of the mini kits over the years with those in it. And this one actually had been, I had taken it with me to stay at my mom's. Last time I stayed at my mom's was back in February. Like I stayed with her for like a week or so. Um, and I had taken this with me and didn't finish using it because it's obviously a couple, like two weeks worth or whatever product. And I forgot about it. And I was looking through an old like a bag that I had and I found it in there. And I was like, oh crap, I need to finish this up. So I used it. And then the last thing uh, that's a mini is this Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Now, I love Belief. I love this brand. It is a Korean brand. I love their eye cream. I love their moisturizers. I have purchased lots of it, and I probably will purchase more of it in the future. Here's the thing. Belief is owned by the same company that purchased... Avon. So that makes me really happy because I don't feel as bad, you know, using this. This is a really, really nice, nice moisturizing cream. Um, they also have a moisturizing balm that comes like in a gel formula, which is very similar to Avon's Hydrofusion gel cream. This one is just a cream. Um, and I like this one a lot. Um, I would absolutely repurchase it again. Full size of these are pretty, pretty pricey though. Maybe $60, 45 to $60. I can't remember, but this one was in a kit and I do enjoy the kits, especially at like holiday time. I'll get them from Sephora, but I think this one came in one of those Sephora play boxes and I don't get that anymore, but sometimes if they don't sell them all, they'll list them on the Sephora website and you can purchase them. And I think I got a Korean, uh, play box and this was in there. So I really, really like that. It's a good cream. And then I had a bunch of masks, which I'm going to do in a separate video, as always, because it was so long. I have 47 <laughs> sheet masks that I used um, since May. So if you actually, if you think about it, May, all of May, all of June, and half of July, 47 isn't that much because I was really on a roll. But still, it's a good amount of sheet masks to move through out of my stash. So I am going to do a separate video reviewing all those um, and letting you guys know what I think about them. So all in all, my empties totaled roughly around $270 for May, June, and thus far in July. That makes me feel really happy. I feel like I accomplished something. I was moving through some stuff. So it's always good. <laughs> but like I said, I probably won't do another empties video again until the uh, beginning of September. So that will cover the rest of July and all of August. <sighs> I feel like I talked and talked. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments in the description section, fire away. Like I said, I will list all my makeup down below. I have a really eclectic mix on today, uh, like Lancome, MAC, Avon, Natasha Denona, um, let's see, I got, is that it? Avon, MAC, Lancome, Natasha Denona, I think that might be it, yeah. Oh, and Benefit, too. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much. Check the description section below, and thank, uh, I'll see you <laughs> in the next video.